this instance, we're going to upgrade a fuel cell which is already on this boat. The fuel cell is 12 years old, it's operating at about 60% of its capacity and it's time for an upgrade. So, let's show you where it is. It can be installed in lots of different places on the boat, but this was convenient for us at the time. I'm going to remove the old fuel cell, which will be very quick. First of all, taking the fuel container out. That's the fuel. The shoe that the fuel container sits in, again, covers with the kit, so no need to worry about buying anything else. I'm now just going to take the fuel cell out. It'll only take a moment. So, this is three or four generations old, and now we put the new fuel cell in. We have the advantage here that the fuel cell's been in before. One is that the vapour line has already been installed and in this case ducts out to the back of the boat. The other is that the off-heat tube comes through here, through this bulkhead, into a separate locker. So, short length this time, simply put on there and our Bluetooth adapter is going to go in there. Power here, slightly different plug to last time. Plug in. Now I just need to line the hose up with the old hose that's in there. Now we have new fuel cell firmly in place. Okay, so we've now installed the fuel cell. We're going to install the fuel back in the fuel container. The fuel line's very simple. We just take the line, screw it into the top of the M10, and that's the job done. And then my next job is to connect up the cables to the batteries. So you saw me positioning that short length of off-heat duct that we put on the fuel cell neatly up against that hole which went in the side of the locker there. The reason for that is to get the heat from the fuel cell away so that the fuel cell doesn't re-breathe that heat. It is only warm air, it's not hot air, and in this instance we've taken the off-heat into the sail locker which is adjacent here and it comes out through that hole that you'll see in the side of the locker there. If you would like to have multiple 10 litre containers of fuel connected so that they automatically go on one from the other. That's possible. We have a device which simply plugs into the fuel line here and gives us two lines out. <laughs>